All right, calling to order the meeting of the Arlington Select Board from Mon Monday, November 11th, 2020. As a preliminary matter, this is John Hurd, Select Board Chair, permitting me to confirm that all members and persons anticipate on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Diane Mahan? Yes. Joe Carl? Yes. Steve DeCourcy? Yes. And Len Diggins? Staff, yes. when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Adam Chapdelaine? Yes. Doug Heim? Yes. And Board Administrator Ashley Mar Marr is participating remotely. Good evening. This, meeting, this open meeting of the Arlington Select Board is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth, given the outbreak of the novel coronavirus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the virus and reduce risk of COVID-19 illness, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are encouraged to participate remotely. The order which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will, will not feature public comment. Even if members of the public do not comment, participants are advised that people may be listening who do not provide comment and those persons are not required to identify themselves. For this meeting, the select board is convening by Zoom as posted on the town's website identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Please also take care to adjust your screen or device name if you would like to speak in order for us to recognize speakers appropriately and develop accurate minutes. It is helpful for our participants to see your full first and last name when calling upon you rather than nickname. All the meeting materials for this meeting, except any executive session materials, are available on the Nova's agenda, uh, agenda dashboard. And we recommend the members in the public follow the agenda as posted on Novus unless the chair notes otherwise. We're now turning to the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate minutes. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members inviting each by name to provide any comments, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If any members wish to engage in colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. Each vote tonight will be taken by roll call vote. Before we get to our first, our next business item, I just want to acknowledge and um, recognize that Arlington suffered an extremely tragic loss this week with the death of Chief Warrant Officer 2 Marwan Gabor, an Arlington, a 2010 Arlington High School graduate who was killed tragically in a helicopter accident while on a UN peacekeeping mission in Egypt this past week. So in honor of Chief Warrant Officer Tu Garba, I'd like to have a moment of silence, please. Thank you, and I know his family is in everyone's thoughts and prayers. And that brings us to our first agenda item, which I actually forgot to print the agenda. Bear with me one moment. Here we are. All right, I, item number two on our agenda is reconsideration of warrant article 13, home rule legislation, rank choice voting. Um, I have attorney Heim. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's my understanding that the proponents of this article have requested reconsideration in light of a number of factors, including the uh, ballot initiative um, with respect to ranked choice voting on a state level. Uh, it's my basic understanding that, that they'd like to move no action at this time um, so that they can um, sort of re uh, to, to take some time to assess position and um, reevaluate their options with respect to ranked choice voting before forwarding it to town meeting. Um, yep. So if the Thank board you. would like to discuss it, that's the general gist of it. Thank you. And Mr. Carl is the board representative on the election modernization committee. Mr. Carl, do you have anything to add or any motions? Yeah, just sorry, I was muted. Um, just like to say, yeah, the, the uh, committee did meet, um, and I know there had been some debate about actually resubmitting this um, uh, for the special town meeting due to the complexity of it. And there had been some thought that the, um, the state ballot initiative would serve as uh, education for uh, town meeting going forward. But um, it, it's become apparent that, that there's a need for uh, quite a bit more education, particularly around the uh, multi-seat um, uh, method of voting, the, the method of voting for um, uh, uh, offices where there are mul multiple seats up at once. And so, and there have been a number of competing uh, proposed counter proposals. So I think the committee feels that um, it would be best served if um, it has the opportunity to go back, take a look at the issues that have been raised and uh, do more uh, education and outreach. But, but they, they are asking this board to um, change our recommended vote to town meeting to no action uh, so that they would be allowed to uh, bring back a version of this article potentially at the annual town meeting. So with that, I'd like to vote. I'd like to move that the board change its recommended vote on um, article 13 to no action. Mrs. DeCorsi? Second. Uh, Mrs. Mahan, any further comment? Um, just, I'd, I'd pass on to our colleague, Joe. Um, one of the things that I found in trying to convince people largely unsuccessfully, whether it was my elderly parents or even members of my own family, my kids who really don't um, get, get involved in politics, um, they were under the impression that if they didn't do the ranked choice voting, then their vote wouldn't count. And I know there's a different argument that, you know, but, uh, and I explained to them, you know, if it's just too confusing or you know, a lot of people said, well, I really don't know much about candidate two, three, and four. Um, the message to me didn't get out that you can still vote the traditional way. You don't have to rank them. Um, your vote still will count. So I just wanted to pass that on. Thank you. Mr. Diggins. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. I'm happy to support this. I wasn't able to attend uh, that last EMC meeting. I am curious though, uh, Ms. Kuro, um, it seems like these issues would have been um, an issue, uh, even if the had um, the ballot had changed had passed on the state level. Uh, and also, I'd note that uh, in Arlington, it seems like it passed overwhelmingly the support for ranked choice voting. And uh, so, um, I guess I'm wondering if there are other reasons for why um, we're maybe not moving forward with it. No, Mr. Carroll. Uh, yeah, th thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, Ms. Dickens. I mean, I, I, I think that there, there is, um, you know, fairly broad understanding based based on the outcome of the the election in Arlington around um, single seat votes. But that's what the state ballot initiative was. There were some some really um, specific details um, around um, situations where you have. Uh, multiple seats up. So for example, in a year where the select board might have two seats up or the school committee might have two or three up, th there's um, a carryover of, of, of the overvote and such. There are aspects of it that really weren't part of the statewide initiative. And it was the, the, um, the feeling of the committee that, that uh, more time is going to be needed for uh, outreach and education um, on that and to address some of the uh, counter proposals that have been brought forward as well for handling um, uh, uh, situations where there are multiple seats. Yeah, and, and I'm all in favor of that. And 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 yeah, and, and so I just want us to really focus on the 
education part uh, because I think you know, there's a lot that we need to understand I mean, about how we would do it if we would have done it the way that was proposed and maybe even some alternatives because I know like in Louisiana, there's the open runoff uh, situation type of, of, um, of voting. So, so great. And uh, I, I don't think we're going to suffer from, from waiting to uh, discuss this some more. Thank you. Yes, Ms. Carl. Yeah, I would only like add in to that that um, in looking at legislative calendars, we probably wouldn't suffer at all. Like, even if um, this were to be taken up at the annual town meeting, there's a very good chance that the legislature would be taking it up at the same time that it would be taking it up if it was passed by the special town meeting. All right, we have a motion for no action on Article 13 by Mr. Caro, seconded by Mr. DeCourcy. Attorney Hine. Mrs. Mahan. Yes, thank you. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Curo. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. It's unanimous vote. Thank you. And that brings us to item number three on our consent agenda minutes of me meeting minutes, October 19th, 2020. The emergency addendum, October 19th, 2020. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Carroll. May I request that these be voted on separately, whereas I have to recuse myself on the emergency item. Sure. All right. So we will first take meeting of minutes, October 19th, 2020. And Mrs. Mahan? Move approval. And Mr. Diggins? I second. Any additional comments, Mr. Carroll? Mr. DeCorsi? No additional comments. So, Attorney Hahn? Mrs. Mahan? Yes. Mr. DeCorsi? Yes. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Mr. Curio? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. Unanimous vote. And separately, we have on our consent agenda meeting minutes from the emergency addendum October 19, 2020. Um, Mr. Viggins? I move approval. Mrs. Mahan? Second. Mr. Corsi? No comments. Mr. Carl? No comment. Well, any hand? Okay, uh, let the record reflect that Mr. Curo is recusing himself from this vote. Is that correct, Mr. Curo? Yes, should I recuse or abstain? I can recuse. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Mahan? Yes. Mr. DeCourcy? Yes. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. It's a 4 0 vote with one abstention and recusal. Thank you. Yep. That takes us to new business. Attorney Heim? No new business. Mr. Chaplin? Uh, thank you, Mr. Hurd. Uh, I'll, I'll share with the board and those watching, as Mr. Hurd mentioned at the outset of the meeting, uh, the community suffered the loss of Chief Warren Officer to Gabor um, last week, now just learning of it over the weekend and into today. And I wanted to let uh, the board and the community know that our veteran service officer, Jeff Chunglo, has been working very closely with the family to provide whatever support and comfort he can. Um, and he's also working to organize a procession uh, for when, uh, when the remains uh, return to the United States and are prepared for burial. Uh, it's likely that the services will be held in southeastern Massachusetts at a mosque that the family attends. So there will be a procession that comes through Arlington. And again, um, Jeff Chungle has been working closely with police and fire to provide the, the necessary escort and uh, escort and honor as the procession comes through Arlington. More details about uh, the exact date and time of that will become available in the next several days. And when they do, we will issue a townwide notice uh, so that the town is aware of this happening in town. And that's all I have. Thank you. Mr. Carl? No new business. Mrs. Mahan? No new business, thank you. Mr. Corsi? No new business. And Mr. Diggins? No, excuse me, no new business for e either. <laughs> And Mrs. Mahan. Um, um, thank you, Mr. Hart. I'd like to say, <coughs> excuse me, a motion that uh, this select board meeting is now suspended and it will reconvene um, concurrent with the commencement of our 
regular town meeting tonight at 8 p.m. and that the select board will remain um, open and in session and will adjourn concurrent with the uh, adjournment of the regular town meeting. Mr. Carroll? Second. Mm, Mr. Corsi? Uh, no further comment. Mr. Higgins? I'm so excited about town meeting coming up. I can't wait. Attorney Hahn. Mrs. Mahan's motion. Uh, Mrs. Mahan. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Carroll. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. It's a unanimous vote. Thank you. See you all shortly. Good morning. Take care, guys.